Hello, and good evening. My name is James Jasperson, and I am the acclaimed film director of the summer blockbuster hit If I'm Your Type, You're My Keyboard, and the recipient of Gisney's most hot, sexiest, handsome, moist man for the past 15 years in a row. But how did I do it? How did I get so successful, handsome, and rich? Well, I'll let you in on a secret. I'm not. You just think I am. And that's because I've altered your reality. You see, I found the person who dreamt up this entire universe, and I went back to the childhood in their reality. Once there, I broke into their house and whispered to them while they slept all the accomplishments I would like to achieve in their dreamscape. Now hold on, James, I hear you say. That sounds illegal. Well, it's not. If you check the news right about now, you'll see that the United Nations have collectively agreed that I am legally above the law. I'm living out my wildest dreams. It just so happens that I'm living them in other people's heads. I have existed and altered dozens, if not hundreds of dreamscapes. I've lost track. How? I'm a lucid. But what is a lucid? How does any of this work? Essentially, when you go to sleep, your dreams are populated by places, people, and experiences, almost like a fully functioning reality of its own. Well, it turns out, it is a fully functioning reality of its own, and it's all up there, inside your head. You see, when you go to sleep, you are actually visiting different points in a parallel timeline, an entirely different dreamt-up life. And for the people inside of those dreams, that life is as real as the one you're living right now. Sitting there, watching me, watching you, watching me. And so, if the people inside of your dreams are as real as you and me, what's stopping them from having dreams of their own? And then, shouldn't the people inside those dreams have dreams of their own? And so on and so on, an ever-growing tree. As a lucid, you learn how to swing from branch to branch, jump from dreamscape to dreamscape. And now, I'd like to introduce you to someone very special. This is Ray Ray Sugar Daddy Fatty Catty Beef. And yes, that is his real sag after registered name. Do you see what's in his hand there? An apple. Wasn't talking to you, Ray Ray. That apple symbolizes that he is the creator of the reality I am currently visiting. And if you live in a universe where the film titled If I'm Your Type, You're My Keyboard is commonly considered to be one of the greatest pieces of cinema in movie history, and the words Gone with the Wind mean next to nothing to you, then I'm afraid that you are also in a reality created entirely by Ray Ray Sugar Daddy Fatty Catty Beef. You see, you can go, Ray Ray. Poor thing. Whenever you're dreaming, you are always carrying an apple. It is the symbol of dreamscape ownership. Whoever has that apple can control whatever they like about the dreamt-up reality they're living in. Tr uh, try it tonight, and you'll see that the sky is the limit. That is, if you want there to be a sky at all. And all that is just scratching the surface of what becomes possible when you learn to become a lucid yourself. Want to learn more? Then buy my entire DVD box set trip to dankness in the hippocampus. Or keep up to date by following me on my internet blog, Snooze to Me. Remember, there are infinite dreamscapes. So if you do run into me out there, lucky you.